You dust your counter and give it a, a light dusting. Um, Anita and I learned how to do that when we went to baking classes. Just have a light dusting of your blending flour. Take half of your dough. Now this dough has been sitting for an hour and a half because we got carried away. You have to have a drink in between making pierogies because it makes it that much more fun. Anyway, the, this is a nice soft dough. Very nice and soft. So you roll it out real thin. Just like that. You keep rolling till you have um, it nice and thin. Your water is on uh, the stove, getting boiling now to get hot, and have it boiling. And we're going to roll this a little bit. Now, I happen to have a very special tool that I use, and I have gotten a hold of one several years ago in Vegreville, and it's a pierogi cutter. What if this, you don't have one? Well, what can you use? You can use your a glass and <coughs> flip them over. I'll show you how you can do it without um, making... You can't without, get those anymore, can you? No, they're not available. They're Kareen safe. and Anita both have tried to get them. You, there's there's fake ones on the market that but you can make them so your dough is nice and thin. I will show you that you can make them with a glass as well. Like a margarita glass? Or? Oh well let's not go margarita. <laughs> let's not, not go that, margarita. Okay, this okay. is that's John's big. specialty that, mango margarita and it's big. very good. Okay so don't use a margarita glass. No use something a little bit <laughs> So flour it. Right. This is color. this is uh, making it if you don't have. Oh. Okay? Now you have to pinch it. Then you pinch it. Oh. Here's your potato filling. Potato and cheese. This is potato and cheddar cheese. Okay. This is going to be a bit of a small one, but you know Ava is here, so it'll be uh, Ava's size. Right, and we'll and all Ava, you do. Do you like grandma's pierogies? Yeah. <laughs> and all we do is pinch them like this. So you can make them if you don't have one of these. Now I'm going to show you my secret way of, of uh, making them with my special. And I don't know who's going to inherit Ooh. this, but it's a very special. I think it's going to have visitation, right? Oh, well, I don't know. It might have to go with me. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. know. So, okay, here's your roll. Here's your dough. You take it. Put your filling in. Pull your dough over. And press. And, and you don't have to pinch with that one. They're sealed. They're absolutely oh, sealed. See. I have yet to have one fall apart. So, this is a homemade pinched one yeah. and this is the one with made the with the pierogi cutter and it has a it has a, a little tit on it so that it seals it closed so that's why mine look commercial because they have a a, a pinched seal on it. so take a good teaspoon See, I've got a good teaspoonful. You put that it like in. like a tablespoon, girl. No, tablespoons are bigger. That's a teaspoonful, okay. right? And push it down, and there you are. There's you your pierogi. Try not to get your margarita in the pierogi. No, try not okay. to get your margarita <laughs> in the pierogi. So. Again, I told you you could make uh, sauerkraut. So how many are you going to make with all this, Grandma? I'm going to say about uh, four to five dozen. And we'll probably eat 
Two um, dozen right well, tonight, right? Yeah, I think Miss Ava is going to eat a few, right, Ava? Yeah. Because they put their order in and they get them. So there's your. Look at them. Ready to go into the water. They're ready to go in the boiling water. 